Assalamu alaikum dear students, welcome to NIVS Home School. I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. This is Kamran Nahar, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. My dear students of class 8, today I am going to take your Bangladesh and Global Studies class. Today we will discuss creative question answer from chapter 4. And there is one creative question answer. Today we will discuss it and the name of this chapter is description of archaeological heritage of colonial A. So let's start the class. So at first we will read the stem. Anub and Orpa went to uh, visit their maternal uncle's house during the Eid vacation. After going there, they insisted on visiting the famous places near their maternal uncle's house. Their uncle took them to visit the place famous for the Muslim. There they saw several ancient buildings and designs and became pleased. Their maternal uncle said that he would take them to visit the other ar architectural sites and thus they would know about ancient heritage. So this is the stem. And the questions are number A, where is Kutibari of Rabindranath Tagore situated? And this question uh, carries one mark and for one mark we will write one sentence and we all know that the Kutibari of Rabindranath Tagore was situated in Kustia. Number B, what is archaeology and what is archaeology? Archaeology means old or ancient and we know that uh, knowing the archaeological resources what uh, we have got uh, I mean, uh, after the excavation. Uh, we can uh, know the uh, artistic work of the ancient people, their ideas, their beliefs, their socio-economic condition, their cultural life, uh, their food habit, their taste, their outlook, etc. And number C, uh, and uh, sorry, number uh, B carries tumors. Now number C, explain the tradition of the place they visit. And this question carries three marks. And now look, explain the tradition of the place they visit. And what do you think? Which place they uh, visit? Now look, this place is famous for the Muslim Sari. And there they saw several, uh, uh, several ancient buildings and designs and become pleased. So this place is Shonarga, right? And we will explain the tradition of this uh, place. And what is the tradition? This place is famous for the Muslim uh, Sari. And uh, it is also famous for the uh, tra uh, I mean uh, for trading it, uh, it is a trade center and it was the capital of the Bengal during the Sultanic period and uh, there are some I mean artistic buildings and uh, these buildings are very beautiful because of their work and there are some famous buildings I mean uh, their archaeological buildings or sites like Shardar Bari, Anand Mohan, Poddar Bari, etc. And now number D, analyze where they can realize the values of tradition as you have read in the text. This question carries four marks. And uh, we all know that if we, uh, if we go to the museum, we can realize the values of the tradition of the archaeological resources or the archaeological sites because in the museum there are uh, different, uh, I mean, uh, you can observe or you can uh, see different uh, archaeological resources, and these archaeological resources uh, express the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, express the ideas and the beliefs and the lifestyles of the uh, Jamidars of or the Nawabs of our country. So let's start the uh, reading, and now look, there is the sample question answer. The number A is where is Kutibari of Rabindranath Tagore situated? And the answer is the Kutibari of Rabindranath Tagore is situated at Chilaida in Kustia. Now number B, what is archaeology? And the answer is archaeology means old or ancient. Archaeological resource means the old settlement and artistic work, statue or sculpture, ornament, coins of ancient period and old valuable furniture. We can have an idea of socio-cultural condition, lifestyle, beliefs and superstitions, taste and outlook of the people of that age. Now number C, explain the tradition of the place they 
visited. And the answer is the town referred to the stimulus is Shalargal. Stimulus means the stem. So the place is Shalargal and it was the capital of Bengal during the Sultani reign. Later on, though its importance came down, but for production of muslin sarees and as a business center, it was famous. Muslin sarees were woven with a kind of very fine thread. Name and fame and demand of these muslin sarees were spread all over the world, and for this reason, Shonargaon was famous. Besides, for architectural designs, Shonargaon was also famous. The wealthy businessmen of Panam Nagar of Shonargaon constructed many buildings in rows of two sides of the main road and there are 52 such buildings in Panam Nagar and we all know that there are 52 buildings in the Panam Nagar and among them 31 buildings in one side of the road and uh, 21 buildings are another side of the road and these buildings were constructed during the British reign and were decorated with colored mosaic. So these buildings are decorated with color mosaic and that's why these buildings are very beautiful. And there are also several such buildings standing near Panam Nagar. Among them Shardar Bari, Ananda Mohan Poddar Bari and Hashima Shen's house are remarkable. So among them these three houses are remarkable and in the Shardar Bari the Folk Arts Museum has been set up. So this is the answer of question C. Now we will go to the answer of D. Question is analyze where they can realize the values of tradition as you have read in the text. And the answer is if Arnab and Arpa's uncle took them to the National Museum, they would become aware about heritage by observing the archaeological treasures preserved there. They would also gain an idea of our country's history and heritage. So if Ar Arnab and Arpa uh, go to the National Museum, they will uh, know the heritage of our country, uh, the, uh, observing the archaeological treasures which are preserved in the National Museum. And apart from the National Museum in Dhaka, there are many other museums in the country. Uh, we know that in Ahsan Manzil, there is an archive of the archaeological resources and in Mamasing, there is uh, another museum. And in this museum, what will you see or what we can observe? Along with the ancient examples displayed in the gallery of the National Museum, archaeological treasures belonging to the Nawabs of Bengal, Jamidars, and era of British reign are also displayed. So you will uh, I mean, uh, know about the archaeological treasures or the articles used by the Nawabs of the Bengal, Jamidars and we can also get an idea of the British reign. And there are archaeological tokens displayed in many regional museums. And most museums are situated in the old castles belonging to Jamidar. So where are the most museums? Most museums are situated in the old castle buildings which were uh, built by the Jamidars of the uh, Bengal. And art articles used by Jamidars and the archaeological treasures collected by them are displayed there. And if Arnav and Arpar's uncle took them to above mentioned places, they would become aware of our heritage and history. So if we visit the museum, especially our national museum, we will know about our history and heritage of the country. So dear students, now look, there is a homework, this is homework number 30. You will write question number i mean question answer d it, as your homework you will do question number one d that means from creative question answer you will write the answer of d and the question is analyze where they can realize the values of tradition as you have read in the text so this is the question and you will do it as your homework you can take the help of this sample question answer and you can do your homework so this is homework number 30. So dear students, I hope you have understood our today's topic and all of you will do your homework and submit it on every Sunday within 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it's very important because your SBA, city and timers will be given on the basis of the submission of your homework. So dear students, 
all of you study regularly and listen to your parents that's all for today see you again allah hafiz